Hi, I'm Ali Pajon. Welcome to my home, specifically in my bedroom where the magic happens. So, in today's video, I am going to share my favorite wardrobe basics. Now, I'm just gonna do the tops, bottoms, imminence, and socks because if I did outerwear, dresses, shoes, this will be a very long video. So, we're keeping it the basics of the basics here. I'm on my way to trying to build a capsule wardrobe. I'm still making my way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass and we're homebound, but we're getting there. So I have a few pieces in my wardrobe that I really like and I don't think I'm gonna get rid of anytime soon. And they are basic pieces that I can pair with lots of different outfits. I'm gonna show you where I got it from, what they look like, you know the drill. What you need to go out in public without looking indecent. Let's start with the first category, tops. Those are my tops. Okay, first ones first. I have a classic white button up for you. Classic, I know. It goes with a lot of different pieces. It's nice as a under layering. It's a very soft material. I got it from ThreadUp, but the brand is Uniqlo, which is one of my favorite brands of all time. And yeah, let me try it on. A white button-up, you can't go wrong. You can pair it in casual pieces. You can use it in professional pieces. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. It's a staple that I think every wardrobe can and should have, but when it comes to the should-haves, that's up to you, man. Like, your wardrobe is your personal expression of style. So, even if every Wardrobe Basics video has a white button-up, you don't have to have it, but I do. Next, I have this graphic tee. My husband said he got it from Target, and I took it from my husband's closet when he was my boyfriend. It's Goofy from the Goofy movie which is a very good movie. By the way, you should watch it if you haven't seen it. It's a really nice oversized fit, which oversized is the way to go. As a ex-dancer, I was always wearing baggy clothing because one, you look a lot cooler dancing in baggy clothing than clothing that just fits you or is too small. Trust me, if you ever take a dance class, wear baggy clothing. So a graphic tee, I like that it is gray, black-ish, <laughs> gray black ish and oh yeah the back is pretty cool too check it out it's like a band tee for a not actual band but movie which i love i love disney i love movies it's the perfect thing for me if i were to wear like a metallica band tee or something like that or like a rock band that i know nothing about i would feel i just feel like i don't deserve to wear a band shirt if I don't actually love and support the band, but I really do actually love this movie, so I feel valid in wearing this shirt. Next, everybody needs a little bit of a fancy top, am I right? So this guy is a bodysuit. <laughs> it's a bodysuit, it's long sleeve, kind of sheer on the sleeves, and it has a thong bottom, so that's good. The neckline is sweetheart neckline. It was a little too big on me, so I actually cropped it a little bit. I don't know if you can see right here, I sewed it to make it smaller. That way it would fit me because my upper area here is not too well endowed. So yeah, I think it fits me pretty nicely. I love wearing it with any type of high-waisted pants. I think it would look really good with a skirt. I like the neckline a lot. I love that it's black. When building my wardrobe, I really wanna stick with more neutral basic colors, like black, gray, beige, cream, white, because then I can coordinate them with each other really easily. Last but not least for the tops is this white t-shirt. Surprise, surprise, it's from Uniqlo. I've seen in pretty much every basics video that there's always gotta be a white t-shirt, right? But not just any flimsy Calvin Klein, Fruit of the Loom, super thin white t-shirt. You want a thicker quality t-shirt with at least three C's. This guy fits the bill. The material is really nice, 
really high quality, I would say. The collar also is thick and not flimsy. Honestly, I don't wear this t-shirt as often as I would think, but it's because I'm a messy eater. A lot of the videos that I've seen where they mention a white t-shirt, they say like, oh, you can find this white t-shirt at this company and it costs freaking like $100 for a white t-shirt. I was like, Tch. No way, there's gotta be a way that you can get a plain white t-shirt that's high quality, but doesn't cost $100 for a t-shirt. This t-shirt at Uniqlo, I wanna say costs like 15 bucks. So reasonable for a t-shirt, but you're also getting really good quality. Okay, we're gonna move on to bottoms. Okay, we're talking basics here for the bottom. So first, we gotta start with some jeans. These guys are from Everlane, as you can see. I also did not buy this directly from Everlane. I think I was looking for a hot deal, so I am pretty sure I got these from like Poshmark or something, and they were a little bit off. I'm gonna go back so you can, you can see these guys, they got, they got some uh, rippage here at the bottom, which is a nice little detail. They're super soft. I think they're in a mom cut. They're a lighter blue, so not a true like classic blue jean, which I like the ones I have for those as well, and they're from Levi's. But these are by far my most comfortable jeans. These are my stretchiest jeans, and they just, fit really nicely and make my butt look good. I have a lot of pieces from Uniqlo, especially basic pieces. <laughs> These pantaloons are my favorite. I have them in two different colors, but I'm gonna showcase the gray ones because gray is just an easier color to coordinate. It's got a very stretchy <laughs> waistband, as you can see. I think the waistband goes all the way around the pants, but it's most scrunched, as you can see, in the back right there. But in the front, it has more of a flat band. So it doesn't look like sweatpants at all. They're very drapey. They're kind of a like satiny material without looking like pajamas, but you could wear them as pajamas. They're comfortable enough. I love loungewear, so wearing anything out in public that kind of looks like loungewear, but is a little more elevated, you'll find me in it, trust me. So these guys, so comfortable, max amount of movement. They also make my butt look good. That is a requirement for pantaloons. A lot of pants sometimes are dragging on the floor with me because I'm 5'2", but not these ones. These ones fit my body so well and especially because of the stretchy waistband it is comfortable if i eat a lot but it's also comfortable if i'm just my compact self and so i don't feel like they're gonna fall down these are just so comfortable i love them last pants i want to highlight i'm wearing them so i'm gonna take them off for you don't look last pants Sweatpants, gray sweatpants specifically. I just got these, they are from Champion. Yes, they got that little Champion logo right there. But other than that, they're just a plain gray sweatpants. I like this, what is this called? <laughs> this cuff at the bottom. I just like the look of it the best instead of like a jogger style or a clean cut at the bottom with no cuff or stretchy thing. This is my favorite look for sweatpants. So they're very comfortable. They have a soft fabric on the inside that doesn't necessarily um, like pill. Is that the word? Okay, maybe it does a little bit, but <laughs> the drawstring is on the inside. That is a freaking game changer for me because I don't like drawstrings that are on the outside. I just feel like it doesn't look very clean. So if I'm gonna have a drawstring on my pants, I want it to be on the inside. That is it for pants. Now, last but not least, what you wear underneath all that, intimates and socks. I'm just gonna combine those. Mentioned in a previous video, I have stinky feet. 
this is true. I don't know when I started having stinky feet, but I do. But these socks definitely help with that. They are called PEDS. And if you can see on the sock, it says PEDS. <laughs> but these are just normal, you know, let me show you. That's how they fit. They got stretchy material, stretchy design. I think they use Coolmax technology from what I'm aware of. They're comfortable, they're moisture wicking. You can get them on Amazon. I will definitely link these and everything else that I can below. These have been a game changer for me. I highly recommend them. I have them in white and in black. Next pair of socks that I really like are these socks from Hue. They're a different style cut. They have the brand name right there on the, on the top. Hue. Oh, they smell like laundry. They're clean. <laughs> okay, these socks are just a really cute fit. I think especially for girls, um, guys sometimes wear like long socks that go up their calf, but for girls, I think it's a much cuter look when the socks just go like right above the ankle. So these are that style. They're comfortable, they're cotton. You can also get these on Amazon. All right, ladies, these are my favorite bras. For a everyday bra that doesn't need to, you know, be fancy or anything, I like the Neiwai bra. I'm choosing this color because this is the lightest color that they have. It's not white, it's not cream, it's kind of a light shade of purple, but you can't see it under light colored clothing. I will demonstrate. Here is the white shirt from Uniqlo. I'm just gonna put it underneath. Okay, as you can see, the bra is underneath the shirt. Can you see it? No. It's such a nice color. So it does make me feel a little bit fancier because it's not just plain old white, but it's a pretty shade of purple. But it's great under any light colored top. It's super comfortable. It's stretchy. I don't need a lot of support when it comes to my bras. So this does the job by covering me with some padding, if you will. Yeah, it's worked out really well for me. I like these. So the bra I'm actually wearing right now is from Target. I really like it. It's a white bralette. I'm not sure. You can see it kind of has a cross in the back, but it's really cute and it's got a nice little design. I like that it's a wide cut. So if I wear cardigans like this that kind of open up, you don't see the bra coming in any of this area. So it's a really nice cut. It feels very comfortable. I feel secure. It's a bralette style. It's really comfy on me. My friend Nani got it for me and I think you can still get it at Target. Last but not least, I feel like for every lady, it's nice to have something a little bit sexier, even if just for yourself to feel pretty in. I have a little black bra from Target. Honestly, some of my favorite underwears are from Target. Let me show you. I'll put it on over this for you. Alrighty. The design is so pretty. I don't know if you can tell. It's it's just so pretty. It's got this little, whoop. I love the straps, that little triangle action right there in the back. It just looks like a normal bra. It's lacy. I just think the design of it is very complimentary to any size chest. I have a friend that also wears this bra and she's much more well endowed, but it looks so good on her. And in some way, it's kind of like a modest bra, but not really because it's super sexy, but it, it's not like a tiny little triangle just covering your nips. It does give you a decent amount of coverage. There isn't any padding with it. So if you like padding or require padding, then this one might not be the one for you, but just, just to have like a little sexy number just for yourself or for your boo thing. I really feel very nice in this one. Okay. Okay, my friends, that is it. That is the end of my wardrobe basic basics. Tops, bottoms, 
Intimates and Socks. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. I'm gonna link everything below in the description. I'll show you more of my wardrobe because it does need some decluttering and organizing. I need out with the old, in with the new. Goodbye, clouds of gray. Hello, skies of blue. <laughs> so I'll show you more of my clothes later. But for now, I hope this was really fun. I hope you liked my style. Let me know in the comments if you want to see anything else when it comes to my wardrobe, my home. I would love to share it with you. Thank you so much for coming over. I loved having you and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.